Hi guys, it's Fiona from Fiona Crafts on Fiona Denger. Um, if you want to check out my old YouTube channel, I'll put a name down below. And I have a special guest, Marcus! He's my um, littlest brother. I, I have another one, um, my other sister, she is littler than him. I will put her in a video at the end of this video. I will bring her in the video. So um, today, me and Marcus are going to, what are we going to do, Marcus? Craft. We're gonna do a craft. So, I'm not just doing one craft, I'm doing like three crafts. I'm doing, the first one is like an organizing craft where I can teach you how to organize some stuff and um, stuff like that, like needles, um, buttons, stuff like that. Um, so, I'm gonna be showing you how to organize, then I'm gonna be showing you some felting tips, then I'm gonna be showing you um, some like um, acorn felts that I'm going to be doing with a lot of cool projects that you can hang on your tree. I know it's way past Christmas, but like hang up for like fall time, spring time, um, winter time, all that stuff. What you're going to be needing for the first organizing craft is you're going to be needing a box, some sort of like little, um, you can use a mason jar, anything like that. I'm going to be using this um, I, my mom, I, I had some tea bags stored in here that it came in like a tea bags. You can find these at the grocery store. They have little tea bags inside of them. And this was like apple cinnamon or something. So I'm using this and make sure you wash it. But I kind of didn't really want to wash it because, um, like I washed it, but I liked the smell. It smelled like apple cinnamon. I'm going to be putting in it, um, you can use like strips of paper, um, yarn, scraps of yarn, um, I'm gonna be using, like, some, I think it's, like, <coughs> ribbon that's just cut up, and I'm gonna be storing that inside of here. I'm also gonna be storing inside of here needles, these pair of needles I had, size 7, a, a pen, some yarn for more stuffing, clothes pins, and some random stuff. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how to stuff it and to make it look really pretty. So now I'm gonna take the ribbon and whatever you guys have yarn and just stuff it in the box. And you, you just gotta make sure it's in there. Don't like try to compact it, otherwise the stuff will, um, it won't really look nice. It will just kind of be clumped. And now you're gonna take whatever you um, wanna put in. I'm gonna be using needles and other random stuff that I have that I need to store. And I'm just gonna put the needles in there however you would like. And then I'm gonna take um, some clothespins that I use around my um, crafting, my crafts. And I'm just gonna put those in there. And then I'm gonna take my heart-shaped pen that I got from Valentine's Day. I just love it. I use it all the time and I wanna organize it pretty. And I'm gonna take some elastic and just put that in there and some string that I decided that I found. And if you wanna do something cool with the lid, just put the lid in there and the lid will look really nice in there. You can just stuff it in there with the other stuff. And there you go, your little decoration box that you can, you can decorate this, decorate this as a theme for Valentine's. For the second craft, it's going to be like an acorn felt project. So I'm going to be making the felt here. And I know like other videos, this is a really easy way to make felt. You don't even need soap or water. Um, all you need, you need to just like compress it in your hands and I'll show you in a minute. Um, so you're going to be needing a top of an acorn and a big bag of hair, goat hair, that you can dye it or just have it regular. Make sure it's clean, not just shaved off of a goat. I know. And hot glue gun and scissors. So, so now I'm gonna show you how to make it into a ball without um, the soap and water trick. So I'm just gonna like squeeze it in between my hands and roll really tight. And I'm just going to show you how to do that again to make two balls. And you can make this really thick. You can make this really thin. Um, doesn't really matter. And so you just want to size it on your acorn top to make sure it fits. Take it and 
size it with your acorn top. And now, once you've sized it, you're going to take it over to the hot glue gun and now hot take your um, sized ball and put it on your acorn and get your hot glue gun. Sorry, that was a technical difficulty. And you're going to want to put the glue on the top of the acorn, not the felt, because that will get really messy. Then you're just going to want to take a good squirt and twist it off so that you don't have strings. But I already have strings, so that's good. Um, just kidding, it's bad. Okay, now you're going to take your ball and put it on there and just hold it there for a few seconds. And it's okay if it's like flowy like that. Because that's what acorns are supposed to be like, I guess. You don't want to press too hard because then you'll your finger will go through and you can burn yourself. Just want to hold it down there for a little while. And there you go. And just set it aside to wait till it dries. And now let's move on to the third craft and final one. So what you're going to be needing for the felting project is a piece of fabric that you want to use to put your felt on and some hair that some goat hair that is somewhat felted but not fully that you can work with and and so on and you're going to be needing a mending a mending needle that you can sew the felt on so i'm just going to start by take picking what color hair i want and cutting it off then i'm going to take my fabric i'm going to take my fabric and start and st start and I'm gonna form it into a ball first and start sewing it on the way you want to so I'm just gonna go um simple seed stitch under um th through under through under that's how I say it if you guys have a different way comment down below how you say it and then you're going to just go, if you want to go all the way around it, I recommend that. But I'm just going to show you really quick how I'm going to go through, under, through, under. And it's going to make like a, you're not going to see the, the stitching. Well, you shouldn't be able to. I might make a mistake and you might be able to see my stitching. But once you pull it through, the, the felt is so big and chunky, you're not going to see it. And if you want to go all the way around, that's fine. So that was the third and final craft. So here is everything that we made today, guys. The felt, the organizer, which I think is adorbs, and last but not least, the acorns. So thanks for watching. Oh, well, thank you so much, guys, for watching. I know this is getting super long, but um, I want to do more videos like these. I love taking time into my videos and knowing that you guys are watching them. So thanks, comment, like, and subscribe. Bye.